Today, we're going to be discussing our thoughts on the recently announced Netflix Gaming and where exactly this new division of the streaming giant could lead us. As of now, we don't know much about what Netflix Gaming will be, so most of this video is entirely going to be speculation and hopes for the future. We'd love to hear your thoughts and chat with us in the comments. The current news being spread around is that the new division has hired Mike Verdu as their VP of Game Development, an ex-exec from EA, and most recently the VP of Augmented and VR Content at Oculus. There was also an official job listing found at Netflix for the Director of Product Innovation in the Interactive Department, which states, in Interactive, we believe that we can go beyond traditional linear television or film presentation by combining innovative applications of technology with some of the world's best storytelling. The listing goes on to mention the interactive episode of Black Mirror, Bandersnatch, as an example of Netflix's game-like storytelling, and that it's time to reimagine the future of entertainment yet again. Alright, so what could all of this be pointing to? Well. Netflix isn't building a console, so they won't be going up against giants like PlayStation or Xbox. They could also test the waters with streaming AAA titles and go up against Google Stadia and Amazon Luna, but that also seems unlikely. Both Google and Amazon also built their own game controller for their platform, in addition to the monthly membership cost. As of now, reports are saying that Netflix gaming will be offered at no additional cost. Stadia and Luna have also had their rocky start, with gamers showing pretty low interest in their originals and don't seem willing to give up their consoles to jump to a monthly streaming subscription. So that leaves the possibility of this being similar to Apple Arcade. Apple released Arcade back in 2019, and they did have some hiccups as they had to cancel some game contracts last year due to the lack of engagement levels. However, what Apple does have in its favor is the billions of devices they have in the hands of users, along with Apple TV hardware that does have some computing power to run mobile games. And when looking at the breakdown of what devices account for gaming, smartphone gaming is a huge business, with smartphones having the biggest share of the pie at 45%, which is nearly as much as all of PC and console gaming combined. We think Netflix is in an interesting position. They hold a massive Rolodex of creative writing, animation, and acting talent, which flashed us back to an old point-and-click game from the 90s, The Dig, made by the classic LucasArts. The concept behind the game was actually developed by none other than Steven Spielberg, including dialogue writing by famous writer Orson Scott Card, and voice acting talent from Terminator 2's Robert Patrick, as well as the legendary voice of Steve Blum. This mix of talent resulted in a beautifully crafted and memorable gaming experience that was an early mix of the gaming and film world. And Netflix is in an extremely valuable position if they play their cards right. They have this massive catalog of originals, packed with emerging and leading industry talent, along with rabid fan bases dying for more. The fact that Black Mirror's Bandersnatch is specifically mentioned in a high-level hire supports this. Bandersnatch gave the viewer the ability to choose the direction in which the story would play out, branching out to several endings and plenty of viewers trying to find them all. Basically, a gamified viewing experience. Netflix had made a similar choose-your-own-adventure experience with Bear Grylls' You vs. Wild. Now, with a new VP of game development coming directly from Oculus, wouldn't it be interesting to have a VR You vs. Wild? where you get a first-person experience of the wild. Well, it's like warm and it's salty. Aside from that, more rumors are circulating that Netflix's partnership with Sony might be growing. Sony had already cracked a recent deal with Netflix to be the exclusive streamer for their movies starting in 2022. That means you'll be able to Netflix and chill to Tom Holland's Nathan Drake and maybe even a Ghost of Tsushima movie as well. But it's also not crazy to think that Netflix Gaming may want to collaborate with PlayStation, who do have some of the best storytellers in gaming. We think it's entirely possible for PlayStation to dedicate one of their studios towards creating a Netflix original game, created by some of the best storytellers in both the film and gaming industries, directly on the Netflix platform. But in the grand scheme of things, if Netflix were to produce their own AAA-level game, whether they collaborate with Sony or not. We are nowhere near getting our hands on it. 
the gaming industry is not easy to get into and requires a whole lot of collaboration between hundreds of artists and creatives that Netflix will undoubtedly struggle with getting together. In the short term, we'd love to see the gaming tab include some arcade-style games based on their originals, hopefully with at least one bigger interactive experience that's a bit more involved than Bandersnatch was. Long term, we think Netflix has the creative and financials behind them to potentially make a real wave in the gaming industry. Remember, back in the day, no one expected Netflix to dethrone cable. Yet here we are. We're hopeful, but this could be the start of something cool. What do you think? Do you think Netflix gaming is too ambitious? Let us know in the comments. Also, what other topics would you want us to focus on? We've made a few of these deeper dive videos and love making them. So be sure to check those out next.